Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use wafer paper and create very easy but beautiful flowers for your wedding cakes. This tutorial is very beginner friendly so if you never worked with wafer paper I'll show you how. Let's begin! So first thing you need for this tutorial is to color your wave paper. You can leave it plain, you can leave it white, you can use a little bit of pearl powder. Today I'm going to mix pearl powder and a little bit of pink because that's the color I'm going for. And if you know that the wafer paper has two sides, one side is shiny side and the other side what's called bumpy side. For this particular application I prefer to work on the shiny side because I find that using pedal dust or pearl dust on the shiny side works a little bit better. So I'm going to take small amount of this powder pearl, add a little bit of this pink color, just a touch. And then I'm going to use dry brush to mix my colors together first and then paint my wafer paper. So here I have all this color variations. So my wafer paper is pearlescent, but it's not even in coverage and I like it that way. I don't want to have plain, boring wafer paper. Next step, what we need to do is we need to cut our petals. I'm going to fold my wafer paper in thirds, roughly like this letter size. And I will cut a few strips for the size of petals I want. So I want my smaller petals to be about maybe inch and a quarter, three centimeters. Then the next layer is a little bit bigger. Then I will cut this in the middle. So these are going to be my larger petal. And I'm going to freehand just cut any teardrop size petals, different shapes and different sizes. If you have some remaining pieces that you don't know what to cut, you can cut even smaller petals and see if you would like to use them. You can see I start at the corner. If I want my petal to be more open, I cut it more open this shape. And some petals I like to be a little bit thinner but longer to have all the variations. Now that I have my petals, small, medium and large size, I'm going to mix my decorations to apply to these petals. For that I'm going to use sanding sugar or sparkling sugar and this CK Edible Glitter Flakes. Then to color my mixture you can use just plain white, you can add powder pearl, same as we did for our wafer paper. I'm going to take a touch of this powder pearl color and a little bit of this powder pink and I'm going to mix it together. So now you can see that my sanding sugar is becoming more pink than just white. So that's the easy way you can use to color any sanding sugar mixture you have. Then to embellish my petals, I'm going to take a touch of piping gel and start with my petal. To attach my decorations or my sanding sugar to my petal, I'm going to take piping gel on a brush and gently paint around but relatively small amount of piping gel and only on the outside or where I want my decorations or my embellishments to be. And I'm painting on my shiny side because my shiny side of my wafer paper is my face side. Then I'm going to take my bowl and just dip the ends of my petals into this mixture. So now I have my wafer paper petal with this decoration stuck to my petal and I'm going to set it aside to dry. Same for my larger petals. I'm just painting piping gel on the outside shiny side facing me and then I'm going to dip into this mixture. I will continue making these petals and then leave them to dry for about 15 minutes and then we are going to assemble our flower. 
So now we are ready to assemble our flower and first thing I need to do is I need to create a mixture that is going to be the center for my flower. I'm going to use just a plastic container with the lid. Again, use the same mixture of my powder color a little bit and pearl dust. And I use the same colors because I want my flower or my arrangement to look cohesive. And then I will use the mixture of non pearls and different dust. And you can see that some of my non pearls are very bright in color. So I'll show you how you can change this color as well. So I'm going to put it first and then shake it. Now my non-pearls are much lighter in color and they move on a pastel color range than they are bright from the bottle. I'm going to add a few different types of non-pearls as well and shake everything together. So this is going to be the mixture I'm going to use for my centers. And you can see that our petals and our centers and our cake, everything is cohesive because I use just two colors. One is not even a color, just pearl dust and powder pink. Now that I have all my petals prepared, I'm going to start assembling my flower. So I don't want my flower to be flat. That's why I'm going to use a piece of foil, scrunch it a little bit to give it cup shape. Then I will take a small piece of wafer paper to be as my base. I'm going to roughly cut it and about one inch circle and to serve as my base. Then I will take my wafer paper glue. I prefer to use wafer paper glue for assembling my flowers, but you can definitely use piping gel or just a little bit of water would work the same. So I will start with taking a few petals that I like and I'm trying to take different sizes first. So I'm going to take my wafer paper glue, apply a small amount on the back side of my petal and stick to my wafer paper center. Do this again. And it depends on your preference for my first layer. I will take maybe five petals. This flower is going to be relatively large. So here is my first layer. I used only five large size petals. For my second layer, if I want my flower to be fuller, I'm also going to use large size petals. And I'm going to apply a touch of wafer paper glue and place them in between. Now I have two layers, but because I want to separate these layers and give some movement, I'm going to take cosmetic sponges. These are regular sponges like veggies, and I'm going to cut few triangular shapes. Now I can use these pieces to place in between my layers and make my flower more dimensional. You can see the difference between flat laying petal and the one with the piece of foam on the bottom. And the beauty of using wafer paper glue, it will help your petals to dry in this shape. So next layer I will take a few medium sized petals, maybe four, we'll see how it goes. I will do the same. So I'm going to place my medium size petals here. Four is enough for the size of my flower. And then I will take more of this foam pieces and place in between. And you can see, you can save and reuse this punch pieces. And then when you need to assemble your flower or you want to assemble your flower, you will have them on hand here and maybe tiny one. Next I will take my smaller petals and remember we have different sizes for smaller petals so I will choose a few different ones and take my wavy paper glue on the back side and place my petal in between. You can see to build this flower it's a really easy process. You just need to go layer by layer and make it the way you want it to and make something that you like. So something like this. 
I used 10 large size, 4 medium size and 4 small size petals. I like the shape. I will probably put a few pieces of foam here and here to make my center more like a rose. And then my last step is going to be to use our dredgeck, pre-color it to make our center even more beautiful. And to do that, I'm going to take my piping gel because I need something thicker to attach my dredges. And I'm going to paint here in the center and take a little bit of this mixture and place in the middle. Press it down to make sure that I have everything securely stuck to my center and to my piping gel. If I wanted to add more, I can use another layer of piping gel and then attach them. But for me, this is beautiful and this is enough decorations. And you can see my flower is not flat at all. I will set it aside to dry for 10-15 minutes and then our flower will be ready. And now that my flowers are dry, I'm going to remove these foam pieces and they will be ready to place on a cake. And using the rest of my belt, I made one smaller flower. So you can see this technique is very versatile and you can make small flower or large, depends on your needs. And for arrangement, if you're going to place them on a wedding cake, I highly recommend you to create different and to use different sizes of your petals and create different flowers but you can see it stays fluffy and it stays very beautiful even without foam pieces so now what i need to do if i'm going to place it on a cake i will take my flower and you can prepare a lot of this in advance but basically what you need is just to put a touch of piping gel or if you prefer royal icing and place it on your cake you can place this type of flowers on a buttercream cake or ganache cake just use my method i will put a link down below or in the card up top you just basically need to use a touch of cocoa butter to prevent your vapor paper from melting from your buttercream but you can see these flowers are very easy to make i hope you like it and please tag me on social media i would like to see your results Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this tutorial and you can assemble these flowers on your cake. You can make just one or you can make, I don't know, 20. And if you like this tutorial and you want to learn more, visit my website astashkinacakes.com. Our Vifa Paper Academy is about to get started. Next lunch is in August. If you want to learn more and be the first to know about Vifa Paper Academy, see you inside the course. See you next time. My name is Anastashkina. Bye-bye.